Hi, I'm Paul from Beyond the Trail and today I've got some guys from uh, Abigail Youth Action or Ithaca. Uh, this is a, like a youth action uh, community group in Abigail in North Wales and we've come out to the most amazing location in Snowdonia. This is Cum Idwell. We're on Lake Idwell here or Thin Idwell. And we've been up over onto Bothloid, which is just over the ridge behind us and we've been on that ridge called a Gribbin. What's it been like boys? Yeah. It's been really but yeah, really fun. We talked about what it's like to go uphill, downhill. What did you prefer? Downhill. Downhill. What about you? I preferred uphill because it's like. Yeah, then you can fall back. You're, you're not supporting your weight. You're, you're not your supporting weight your weight. Okay. So what what we've really been excited about though is what we found on the ground, and this area of Idwell is the most phenomenal ge geographical area, geological area, and we found phenomenal range of stones and it's all volcanic isn't it most of it is volcanic so let's have a look what's the, you pick that one up for me okay so you pass that here so we've got what looks like a piece of slate so if you look close up it's uh, it's all layered it used to be mudstone got um, pressured really um, with massive pressure underground and heat and turned into slate uh, that one there have a look at that how is that heavy or light it's pretty light yeah this here this is really incredible this is directly out of uh, a volcano this is pumice and it's filled with air pockets and it would have had gas in it as it cooled um, then we've even got some sedimentary rock which seems to be some perhaps some mud with with different types of stone on it um, what's this that you found here quartz I mean, quartz and yeah, what do we say about how quartz is made like gets like something pressurized it like together like no um, oh, I yeah, it's, well, made, it's made by pressure and compression which, and heat which pushes it up through cracks which then forms the crystal. Yeah brilliant, so we're looking at liquid and gases coming up through rocks and cracks in rocks drawing out the silica out of the rocks and forming bands of crystal. Um, I think the one that we really want to look at, who, who can hold this, it's pretty heavy. Um, this is the most amazing rock, this is called welded tuff. This is a volcanic rock that's had superheating of like an ash flow and this really dark, dark rock that's in here maybe even obsidian but this is all volcanic stuff that's formed under so much pressure and heat and then cooled and leaves these really beautiful uh, markings of different types of rock that have been welded together um, i think probably for me that's the most exciting and how heavy is that that's really heavy that's seriously heavy isn't it so it's what do you reckon i think it's a what? mixture of different uh, kinds of stone and um, different types of maybe metal Right, metals as well, loads oh, of minerals. And would you say actually some of the most exciting stuff we saw is this um, ash flow tuff, really yeah. explosive stuff, a, a yeah. volcanic breccia or breccia, which was blasted out of the volcano. Yeah. And this is North Wales, this is the most amazing place. What history, you know, 450 million years to make all this happen. Isn't it amazing that we've got this uh, yeah. to come and walk around? And I've not been here for long, but I found it really good because where I come from, Manchester, not a lot of places that you can go. No, you don't see stuff like this in Manchester, do you? No. Do not. Right. Oh, America. So we're just getting some shelter this? behind this wall now. We're just going to stop and have a bit of lunch and then we'll carry on walking. It's been a great day. Bye. Bye.